Hello everyone, welcome back to Denver Beard Reviews. Thank you all for stopping by the channel, checking out my video. Again guys, if you could, please like, subscribe, and of course share with your bearded friends. Today's episode, we'll be discussing a company out of California by the name Grown Main Products. Please stand by after the short introduction, and I'll jump right into the review. Alright guys, welcome back and again thank you all for checking out my channel, watching these videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Today's episode will be discussing Grown Main products out of, out of Marina Valley, California. Their owner's name is Shu Wilson and he founded the company in 2020. His motto for the company is to put childish things aside, meaning a grown man shouldn't be putting products in his beard that weren't made for it such as women's products, lotions, anything like that. You should strictly stay with uh, beard products that are made by Grown Main. Uh, his products are handcrafted using natural, organic, non-GMO ingredients to provide your beard with the best health and customer experience possible. So guys, after the, revi uh, after the review, if you could, please stop by the description below. I'll be leaving a link to the shop there so you can check out these awesome products. Um, to start off with, I'll discuss their uh, beard oils. Their beard oils are two ounces for $10. Two ounces for $10, that's $5 an ounce. That's a killer deal when considering that most companies sell their oils for $15 to $20 per one ounce. So this one's $5 per ounce. So for two ounce bottles, you get, or two ounce bottles, you can get them for two, uh, $10 on the website. Um, the bottles come in a dark black glass bottle with a black dropper top. The labels are nice and crisp, have some grip to them, and they are waterproof, which I do always appreciate in any bear demand that keeps his products uh, on the side of the sink will agree. Um, as again, nice clean labeling, tells you all your information, keeps information there at the top on the one side, put childish things aside, uh, just kind of information of why he makes the products. Um, and then on the other side, kind of a directions list there. Ingredients for the oils are argan oil, sunflower seed oil, vitamin E. This one specifically contains cocoa butter oil and uh, essential oils for the uh, fragrance profile. The consistency of it, with this one having the cocoa butter oil in it, it is a little cloudy. And uh, it's kind of like a light to medium viscosity. Uh, has a little bit of a gold hue to it, not much at all. Um, but again, it has a little bit of cloudiness with that cocoa butter oil in it. Um, this is his original scent profile. It's a, a light um, essential oil sweet fragrance. Um, Meaning, it, it with essential oils, of course, you're not going to have to worry about having a real, real strong kind of catch-your-breath type scent profile. It's nice and light, um, but have some sweet tones to it. And you do get a little bit of that cocoa butter fragrance on the back end. I personally enjoy cocoa butter. Some don't, some do. Um, you do get a good hit of that cocoa butter fragrance in there. And it is just a nice, general, pleasant smell. Um, you get about three to four hours of the fragrance in your beard as far as the fragrance longevity. Um, so it is a nice, light beard oil, or light to medium viscosity oil with a light fragrance. Lasts in beard about three to four hours and feels awesome in beard. I do enjoy the cocoa um, butter oil. And uh, you don't necessarily see that specifically in oils. You mostly see cocoa butter 
uh, in actual butters. Um, so adding that to the oil itself actually works out pretty well. Uh, and especially getting your beard oil for $5 an ounce, that's a heck of a deal, guys. Definitely check it out. Again, this is in the original scent profile. The, net, the other scent profile that I was sent is Marley's Mix. And I will say is my favorite of the two. Same thing, $10, guys. For the most part, it's, it is the same ingredients. The one thing I did want to mention with the labeling, uh, I do like the collar of it. It's kind of got that Rastafarian look to it uh, for Marley, Bob Marley. Um, however, I could not find a specific ingredients list in this. He does mention that this uh, blend includes uh, Jamaican black castor oil infused with hemp oil for um, more of a smoky earthy scent profile. Um, but he, I, I wish you would include the argan sunflower seed, vitamin E, and um, yeah, I think he replaces the cocoa butter oil with Jamaican castor and hemp seed oil. Um, in this one. So yeah, just maybe something cut cut this just a little bit higher on the label and then add the ingredients list similar to what you did here on the original. That's the only criticism I have about the labels. I do like the looks though where it's more of a Rastafarian feel to it. Um, clean, smoky, earthy colognes what I get out of this one guys. Nice and masculine. Again, my favorite of the two. Um, if you like a slight hit of smoke that is still nice and clean with some earthy back end tones to it, you will definitely enjoy this one. And again, guys, you cannot beat the price on it. $5 for one ounce, that's killer. You get $10 for a two ounce bottle of oil, that's gonna last you months. Real good filling beard, moisturize as well. And again, this scent profile also lasts about three to four hours of longevity in your beard. Um, does exactly what you want in a beard oil and for, at a price point that simply can't be beat, guys. Uh, I personally, I know when I got a great deal on the items that I'm using in my beard, it just makes me feel that much better. So definitely check out the oils. The next item and last item that I have is his um, beard butter. The beard butter also runs you $10. This is a three and a half ounce beard butter. Generally speaking, for the most part, um, industry average being between $15 to $20 for two ounces. You're getting three and a half ounces for $10 and a really awesome uh, container to go along with it. It's kind of like a nice shaped mason jar look to it. It even has like the mason jar lid to it. This actually will pull out. So it's actually like a mason jar. Um, the, the labels, the only criticism I have is there's not an ingredients list label here. I would prefer to maybe just pop one, a sticker on the bottom with the ingredients. That would take care of it. Um, ingredients of the butter is shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut butter, Mura Mura, I can never say that word, Mura Mura butter, argan oil, sunflower seed oil, vitamin E, and essential oils for the fragrance profiles. Consistency, it's a light, off, well, like an off-white yellowish collar to it. Has a little bit of graininess to it, um, but it is nice and creamy. Similar profile to the original a light scent of that sweetness. Um, I believe more so from like the coconut butters and the other butters within here. Just a real, real nice profile overall. Real sweet. The only criticism of the butter that I have is there is a little bit of graininess. I would like to see it mix better in the future. Um, however, real, real pleasant experience. Went into beard really, really well. Uh, emulsifies in the hands well again just has some uh, graininess texture to it so you really have to work it within your hands and heat it up to get rid of that graininess before you put it in the beard um, really the only criticisms I have on the butter is the graininess to it and an ingredients list on the bottom of the label or on the bottom of the container 
otherwise really nice beard butter and again guys you're getting a heck of a deal um and scent, scent profile for this one i probably got about two to three hours out out of it it is a little bit lighter than what's in the oils um but again i use butter at night scent profile is not as important if you will in the butters as they would be in the oils for me um so again guys real nice butter awesome price point large quantity and real nice container i really like the looks of these containers real real cool um but yeah guys um also forgot to mention my order um it did come in this silky bag similar to what you'd find like in a crown royal bag um real real cool um kind of like a stash bag if you will and re reminds me exact it has even the same feel of like a crown royal liquor bag um so even if you don't stuff your beard products in there maybe carry around some loose change too what i like also about the business cards is you can actually pull off the back and make it into a sticker so i thought that was real real cool too guys again that's grown main beard products out of california shoe i truly appreciate you giving me the opportunity to review your products real nice feeling beard wonderful price points for the quantity that you're getting um, i'm really excited to see where the company goes from here only things i would mention is maybe try some additional scent profiles um, mix that beard butter real well to get that graininess out of it um, otherwise uh, keep doing what you're doing keep grinding man uh, you have some awesome products, and I will mention your videos on social media are awesome. Definitely check them out on uh, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. I believe he's on there on YouTube as well. Uh, if you could, guys, tell Grown Main Products that Denver Beard Reviews sent you, and I look forward to seeing you all on the next episode. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Happy Valentine's Day, and take care.